serdecznie zapraszam na moją walkę 5 kwietnia na gali Legend 3 w Mediolanie. Będę walczył z Pawłem. Myślę, że Paweł i ja stoczymy niesamowitą walkę. Będzie ciężko, ale mam nadzieję i postaram się wygrać. Dziękuję serdecznie. Bye-bye. 
World Grand Prix Final Champion. He's from Ukraine, ladies and gentlemen, Pavel Kaima a quick cup of tea in the break between these fights let that kettle boil because this bout could be over in any second with these two big heavy hitters pedal, you know these guys yeah i mean pure Zul power isn't it Zul is very very powerful he doesn't kick much very very good sharp boxer heavy-handed no he's just really over the last two years he's just become to this natural size he's started to punch hard he's knocking people out and you know what he's going under the radar but He's one of the most dangerous heavyweights there are. Oh, most definitely. Yeah. Mikhail Zoriblev has uh, taken his fight on short notice, of course, after Thomas Kosepskowski has pulled from this fight. Another strong Polish opposition here, jumping in oh, with his knee. You no, know, I mean, you've got to give him credit. Three days' notice, you know, hardly any preparation. He's got nothing to lose, Kieran. He's got nothing to lose. He can come here and get his work done. Doesn't look in bad shape, does he? Doesn't look in bad shape. Turns to keep his legs wide as well. Which means he's yeah. no, then maybe that's just something special that he had planned. Sometimes though, you know, Zulu would have had a plan before. And he thinks he's gonna go there and knock him out. But yep. like you said, he's got nothing to lose. You never know what can happen. Sometimes it can really throw you when your opponents change as well, Kieran. Yeah, the of course tactics, that game everything. plan. Yeah. You can watch your opponent and see something he's got. And the thing that you can see is Zula is looking for the knockout. Yeah. Looking for that one big punch. And sometimes Always does, Kieran. Yeah. Dives in from that. He's what I call a raider. Comes from outside, leaps in, big shots, and tries to get out before he takes punishment himself. Oh. Right, you know, he knocked out a. Uh, no one expected it. You know, he just knocked him out with sharp hands. He has, has got knockout power. Very different fight to what he'd have had before as well. A much quicker opponent than he has here. And we have Michael Zorinski. Poland churning out some really good fighters of late. Legend 3 here in Milan in Italy. Danny Kendrick and Kieran Kedo in the commentary box. We've seen some amazing fights so far, and here are the heavy hitters. It's a technical start from both fighters, isn't it, yeah. Kieran? He's looking for the knockout a bit too much. He did say he was going to go for the knockout, which I'll get, but. You know, with, his, with his experience, I like to see him jab a little bit, then set it up in. So yeah. shots up. Yep. He's got that awkward style, was he? From the just, you know, wide style with a awkward sort of Kempo style. Yeah. Lead legs a long way forward. He's always looking for his hands. You think he could off balance that or? Big body. Oh, head kick. Very, very powerful head kick there that he just managed to duck under. That would have taken his head clean off his shoulders here.
the ring you can hear there and apart from the two huge warriors heavy hitters you got in the ring there that is one person we don't want to mess with here tonight see he's looking for the spinning techniques you know, he's giving him his side which, you know was a spinning heel kick come out of nowhere a little bit on top of each other, these guys, isn't he? I know yeah, Pavel likes to stand back a little bit and come in further, but a little bit belly to belly with the man from Poland here. Constantly pressing him back to his own corner there. Yeah, he's looking for the overhand right a little bit too much, and I like to see you know, two levels a hell of a lot better than that. He's got the single oh. shots here, Kieran. This could be frustration. Fine. Yep. Fine. Definitely not going the way he planned it, I don't think. Legend 3 here in Milan. Amazing fights here tonight. And this, the one before the main event. Heavy hitters. Real tense atmosphere around here as everyone waiting for a knockout here. Yeah, you can tell, you know, he's looking a bit too hard, trying a bit too hard. The awkwardness of the Polish man. Yeah, he doesn't have much power, does he? But he just has a way of making a miss. Yeah. Well, that is a plan you're definitely going to have to have because one thing you know when the Cayman is in front of you, he's going to dive in and he's going to try and take your head off your shoulders. Settling down into some belly to belly action now. Big low kick. Yeah. Horrible. And that's what he's got to be stopped throwing. More of them. You can stop him if you keep throwing them. Three or four more. That sort of power. Yeah. And your legs are that wide in starch. You can't lift your leg up to block. And it moved from about a metre across the ring there, didn't it? Laboured push kick high there. Very. Zurilev should be chopping that leg. Yeah, Zurilev's style is very tiring though, isn't it, Kieran? That explosive style. Rest, rest, rest. Explosion, isn't it? Can he maintain that through the whole fight? Oh. Oh. Growing into this fight, the pole, isn't he? Yes, yeah, left hand drops. He's gaining confidence. That's what he should be doing. This is the low kick, Zurilev. Yeah, Terensky growing on me now. Growing on this crowd. Growing here at Legend 3. No one thought this was going to go more than one round, did they? Me included in that one. Pavel the Cayman. Uravier Vigneo. Red corner there, just getting his instruction. Rather tired looking. Mikhail Terinsky over there in the blue corner. What would you say to her? over there Kieran in the red corner to, to keep it simple you know don't look at the overhand right all the time use the jab throw the right low kicks the other two close his leg and rest his leg and uh, he needs to throw his wheel those sort of hard kicks in this one at the beginning he's a little bit straight yeah but that little one balance at the end of Pavel got yeah. there as he got taken to ground no need let Mikhail Terinsky come in out please Bookmaker in the world would even have these two fighting now in the third round. This late in the fight, a strong favourite, Sivilev. All the names he's fought over the last couple of years. Yeah, both fighters diving in on every shot. Sivilev's waiting too long, isn't he, Kieran? Yeah, he's looking for that big shot. He needs to be first. Big right hand. Five. He's tough, isn't he, Kieran? He's, he's, he's really tough. He's one of those people who doesn't oh, lift up, doesn't lift up. Be all can frustrate him. Oh, 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 oh,
fight you, but can take a shot. Yeah, just spins off the ropes nicely as well and gets back to neutral ground in that ring, doesn't he? Good jab, sir. That's what he needs to do. Jab, jab, and chop the legs up. Not once. No. So I just go high. He wants the knockout, doesn't he, Kieran? He does. Dead set on getting what he said. Sometimes you need to go just for the victory sometimes. Just get the win under your belt. Yeah, this be a clever fighter here. But what a performance from Turinsky on late notice as well, don't forget. Yeah, he's very good with his legs. A little knee that comes through the middle. Stop. Very close bout, this is finished up here. You know, it's very, very close. And this key's working. Not very powerful, admittedly, but working. We've got the first round in the red corner, but maybe the second round to the blue corner here in the favour of the pole. Very close one to the side, and really no one getting any clear daylight between themselves in this round, are they? Too predictable. Good spinning back fist there. I, I said, can't get a cigarette paper between the two warriors here. It's just very strange that he stopped kicking his leg. Looks tired, Kieran, now. And he's sort of that sort of shape, muscular shape. He's been moving a lot forward. Yep. Taking a lot of stuff. Oh, big left hook. Yeah. Right hook, then left hook. The left hook got through there. Pavel needs to throw everything he's got now to rock this guy. Very, very good matchup here. The legend three. It's a great standing. What, what a performance. You know, he'll definitely get a phone call again to fight again because he's shown how tough he is. Happens like that in the fight. You know, fight career doesn't appear and you have to take every opportunity you get. Yeah. That's why he should be in the gym. Even after the fight, he should be back in a couple of days back. You never know when you get that phone call. Well, I'm 